Hey guys and welcome! Today I want to take a look at the rather controversial subject and that subject being the essential question, should Battlefield 5 even be a World War 2 game? And before we start jumping into any conclusions, let's get all of the facts straight. Because it's only been 4 days since Battlefield 5 was revealed and YouTube is already full of videos talking about Battlefield 5 controversy, Battlefield 5 drama, Battlefield 5 females, Battlefield 5 not being World War 2, and the irony is that majority of those videos are in fact not even created by creators who are focusing on Battlefield content. Majority of people who speak on the subject are people who have no connection to the franchise and have zero knowledge about it. In my yesterday's video, which I suppose majority of you have seen, we took a look at what ignited the whole drama around Battlefield 5. We've analyzed the reveal, we've analyzed the trailer and how EA decided to do their marketing. And as I've already mentioned it in this video, I really do admire the brilliance of EA's marketing team. Because they've created a trailer which attracted so many people and got them to remember it, which practically is the most important thing about marketing, to make customers remember your product, by focusing the first 30 seconds of the trailer purely on the woman with a prosthetic arm. Now, to give you guys a little bit of an example of how those marketing teams operate, basically, the step number one is to reach people. They've reached people. They got millions of players to talk about it. They've done it. Step number two is make players or customers like what they see. And this is the problem, because while it does connect with the step number three, where you have to make the customers, or in that case players, remember what you showed them and what you marketed to them, with Battlefield 5 trailer, they remember, but their memories are associated with negative emotions because they didn't like what they saw. Which means that the second filler of marketing pretty much doesn't function in this situation. It's like Adidas would market their new shoes and show them as something that easily gets damaged or broken in the ad itself. Of course, customers would remember the ad because... Realistically, how many times do you see a broken shoe in the ad? Of course, you will remember it because it's something very unusual, but then again, you're not gonna be likely to purchase it later. And this is where the whole essence of this video comes in. Because... Instead of saying that Battlefield 5 will provide World War II experience that was never seen before by players, EA could have easily gone down the path of saying that we were inspired by World War II and the events that happened during that time, but we want our game to be set in the alternate reality that we have created ourselves. And in that case, we wouldn't get any backlash or EA wouldn't get any backlash from the players because even though the game wouldn't be historically accurate, it would be clearly stated. We weren't even aiming to make it historically accurate. Granted, we were inspired by the World War II events during creation of the game, but it is still our own reality and we can do whatever we want with it because it's ours. We design it, we create it, we can do whatever we want to. And it's funny, because realistically, all they had to do was to take a different marketing approach before launching the game or making a reveal and there wouldn't be any problem. Realistically, like, they should just claim they were inspired by World War II, but they have created it in their own reality. Why not say it? You say one sentence and there is no backlash. Players love the game, players buy the game, players like the game on YouTube, I mean, like the trailer, everyone is happy. I know that some of DICE producers actually did try to sneak in the statement during the reveal saying that Battlefield 5 isn't exactly a World War II experience that players are used to seeing. But I agree with it, it was a good idea. The problem is that they haven't communicated it clearly enough for players to actually know it. 
Now this directly connects to my yesterday's video, where I took a look at Battlefield 5 reveal and the trailer and analyzed what failed there. And I really encourage you guys to go and watch this video, in case you haven't done it yet, because it really gives you a totally new perspective on the whole subject and it's something that I doubt anyone has even produced on YouTube. So if you want to see it, it is on the screen right now, all you have to do is click the title. And as always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield!